I am alongside the champion jockey and fellow Sporting Life ambassador, Asheen Murphy. And Asheen, let's talk about Epsom. Where, where would Epsom stand amongst challenges and courses you like riding? It's not easy, but it's an incredible place. When it's full and the sun's shining, the atmosphere, you can't compare it to anything. And what about as a track to ride, though, with the challenges, the uphill, the downhill, the turns? It's nowhere like it, is there? Well, the most difficult part is getting a horse to post quiet and calm and keeping them relaxed behind the stalls. The easy part is often in the race. Even when you're freewheeling round Tattenham Corner? Yeah, well-balanced horses, you don't notice those undulations so much. Uh, particularly if they've got lots of pace. If you can go around there hard on the bridle, and it's not on every horse that happens, it's not an issue. And I was looking through your numerous winners at Epsom, and I saw you rode one in 2014. How old were you in 2014? I had to think about that. Uh, maybe around 19 wow. years old. Yeah. Miss Marjorie, was it? Yeah, for Dennis Coakley. I remember I nipped up Ryan Moore's inside, and that doesn't happen very <laughs> often. He's 19, that's brave. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the, the, uh, the joys of being young and, and uh, brave, yeah. And let's talk about the derby then, the Kazoo derby as it is this year. I mean, Roaring Lion went close, didn't he? Must have given you a real thrill. I ended up following the winner the whole way around that day, Massa, and I felt crossing the road with like three and a half furlongs to run when you straighten up after Tattenham Corner that I could go and win. And unfortunately, the petrol gauge emptied late on, but it was a massive trail. And I've had a few good runs in the race. Ben Battle ran well. Red Galileo was my first ride, and I think I was 18, or I was still an apprentice, still claiming, but obviously not claiming that race. Uh, I've had numerous goals in it, and. Hopefully you have a spin this year as well. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Is it right at the top of the Asheen Murphy priority list to win a, to win a derby? It's uh, the most important race in Britain and arguably turf race in the world. I love the arc as well and for me they hold equal significance. And yeah, they're on the wish list, dream list, all the lists. So are we going to see you with a ride in the Kazoo Derby this year? Yeah, it's highly likely I'll partner one for Charlie Appleby. We haven't uh, confirmed which horse yet, and obviously there's a few weeks to go before the race. But yeah, I hope I won't be sitting uh, on the sidelines. If I gave you, this is a really mean question, but if I gave you the choice of all of them in the field, who would you like to ride in the derby? I really was impressed by Hurricane Lane's uh, run particularly at Newbury but also in the Dante. He's lightly raced, he's unbeaten, he's going to stay well, he's super easy to ride, he races on pace, doesn't pull, uh, he just ticks lots of boxes. Bolshoi Ballet was impressive in Ireland. If you take out Jim Bulger's horse out of that race though you can really pick holes in the form but he's an outstanding physical and he would be top of the list I as well. I imagine Hurricane Lane's connections are probably quite pleased in a way. The attention all seems to be on high definition who was third behind him in the Dante. It's strange, isn't it? Yeah, sure. I think high definition needs to improve plenty. And Aidan did say he thought he'd need the run, but uh, there's quite a bit of ground to make up on, on the winner that day, Hurricane Lane. And what about the day before in the Kazoo Oaks? Are we going to see you in that? Yes, you are. I think I'll ride Ocean Road in that. A uh, little bit funny race at Lingfield. It wasn't a proper trial. We went very slow. I was last. She jumps slowly away from the stalls and... It just wasn't ideal, but Kieran Fallon rode a work the other day and he was smiling for a couple of days afterwards. I still haven't wiped the smile off his face. So, um, <laughs> that's whether, that's, yeah, whether that's good enough to win an Oaks, I'm not quite sure. But strange race this year. Um, look, I think Jane Chapel Himes filly by Zoffany. Yeah, I think if she stays, she'd go very well, but there has to be question marks. Santa Barbara's bred to stay and likely favourite. and for me, probably the one to beat. Thanks, Asheen. Good luck. Thanks, Ed.